and welcome back to another video in our Metrical tutorial. My name is Alex and I am the US Social Media Manager for Metrical. In today's video, we are going to be talking all about Pinterest. We'll talk about getting your Pinterest account connected to Metrical. We'll talk about analytics and we'll talk about scheduling your pins out. If this sounds like something that you would be interested in, go ahead and keep on watching. <laughs> Today we are talking all about Pinterest. I'm going to show you really quickly how to connect your Pinterest account to Metrical, which is a very simple process. And then we'll talk about analytics and planning for Pinterest. So when you are in the connections page, you're going to want to click on connect account. One of two things will happen. It will either take you to the Pinterest page and make you log in and then ask you for an authorization. Or if you are already logged into the proper account, then it'll just ask you to make an authorization and it'll really quickly connect your Pinterest account. So for me, it is going to take me already to Pinterest. I'm already logged in. So as you can see, that authorization pops up pretty quickly. Just gives you a quick explanation. You're going to click on give access, and then it is going to automatically connect that Pinterest account. It's very simple and straightforward, and it shouldn't take you too long to do. I'm now currently in the Metrical account that I'm going to be using as an example. So as you can see, Pinterest is connected here, and we're going to go into the analytics section to talk about Pinterest analytics. So once you're in that section, you're going to want to go to the left hand side and click on Pinterest and then designate the time frame of the analytics that you want to look at. So I always set it to the last 30 days as an example, but of course you can customize this to your liking, whether you do it manually or you use the presets. So to begin, we're going to start off with pins. So this will show you the impressions of your pins, how many pins you posted and those impressions for them, as well as the engagement period. So the engagement on the pins, the interactions, and again, showing you how many pins you've posted. Similar to before in previous videos, you can toggle on and toggle off what metrics you want to see exactly. Then we'll go down into interactions. So these will be things like your pin clicks, your outbound clicks. So how many people are actually clicking the pin to the source. Uh, but wherever you're wanting to drive traffic to, if you've had any pins that were saved, all of that you can see here in those analytics. And then you can see the total organic data of your pins. So for example, right now I have mine set to impressions. So it's showing me a ranking of the top pins based off of those impressions. So for us, our top impressions were the notes in the Metrical Planner. And as you can see, it goes down on the impressions as you go down. And you can you can change this depending on if you want to see pin clicks or if you want to see the saves. I'm just going to keep it on impressions, but this is, again, to your liking. You can also slide over to see a couple more metrics and you can toggle on or off what metrics you want to see for Pinterest specifically. And you can also download the CSV file as well. So when we're looking at this list of pins, you can click more and you can see your pin captions. So let's say you wanted to repurpose this. You can easily copy to the clipboard and repurpose to maybe another platform or repurpose to a different pin. This more section is really nice for that repurposing function, as well as you can see the pin directly in Pinterest if you click on view. So as you can see, it took me directly to the pin in the metrical account. So you can see notes in the metrical planner. And if you also wanted to see, you know, that source that it's linking to, you can click on the pin and go directly to that source if it's linking to, let's say, maybe a video or an Instagram profile or a blog. As you can see, the analytics for Pinterest are pretty straightforward and easy to understand, and they will be super helpful and valuable for you if you are looking to, you know, spruce up your Pinterest strategy. Maybe you're a Pinterest manager. There are multiple ways to use this data to your advantage. So now we're going to move on to planning for Pinterest and we're going to go into the planner. So I am just going to create a post from scratch so that we can kind of see what that would look like. And then I can also show a previous post that we've done as well. So I'm just going to click in and I'm going to toggle on Pinterest. And as you can see, that example starts to populate on the right hand side. So let's say, for example, I wanted to add an image. So we can click in here, we can go and find our image that we'd like. So let's say I want to do this. So let's say I want to say the five tips to grow your reach and audiences on Instagram. And I want to link this back to our Instagram profile, like that specific post. So I can add my caption here as I please. You have a 500 character count, which shows you here on the right hand side. 
And then, you know, you have the ability to create UTM links for your Pinterest posts, as well as using AI. If you want some caption help, you can use the AI for those Pinterest posts as well. And then if we go into the Pinterest presets, this is where it's very important. So you're going to give your pin a title. So mine would more than likely be, you know, the con the name of the content. So five tips to grow your reach, et cetera. And then you're going to pick the board that you want to pin to. So it'll show you here all of the boards that you already have. Or if you maybe want to create a new board or ha are creating a brand new section, like you can hit add and create that new board. So you just name it and then click accept. But for example, for us, we would maybe want to do metrical blogs and then I could link to a blog. Or let's say I just wanted to do metrical studies then i could link to maybe a study we've done in the past again this is completely customizable and up to you because i want to link back to instagram maybe now would be a great time to create a new board for this i'm just going to do metrical features even though it doesn't necessarily correlate to that but you understand the process of either creating a new board or picking one and then you can link to wherever you'd like so for example if i wanted to go to the metrical you know, Instagram profile, and I wanted to link directly to that post so they could read a little bit more. I could find the post. I could copy that link, and then I could link directly to that post in here, and then I could hit save. Of course, you would want to have a caption as well, but this is just an example of how to create a Pinterest post, and then it'll show up here. So those Pinterest presets are very important. If you don't fill those out, you can't save the Pinterest post. And we also have just the ability to add alt text for that. And you can also edit the image if you'd like, just some simple tweaks that you can do for Pinterest as well. One other important thing to note is that you do have to specify the board to publish the pin to. You don't necessarily have to have a title or a link back, but you do need to specify the board. Otherwise, it will not let you save it. We recommend that you fill out all three, but it is the most important to specify that board and it will tell you here in the reminders as well. So I'm now going to show a really quick past example of a pin that we've done um, just so you guys can get some more context. So this is one that we already posted about our Facebook ads study. And as you can see, I did a caption for it and it showed me the character count down here. And in the Pinterest presets, you can see this is the title I gave it, what board I pinned it to, and then what link. So for this one, for example, I linked directly to the study because if people are reading this, I would want them to go read that Facebook study. But we have had other Pinterest posts in the past that have maybe linked to blogs or to Instagram posts, etc. And that is Pinterest with Metrical. There are a couple of other things that you can do as well. Like you can, you know, auto list for Pinterest. You can do that too. If you were wanted to create that, you can click a new auto list and you can pin to, you can do those pins within an auto list. You can also create a smart link for your Pinterest feed. These are things that are not necessarily particular to just Pinterest within the Metrical platform, but I'm just giving a couple of like extra little tips and tricks. So for example, if you have a premium account and you are able to have multiple smart links, you can create a Pinterest smart link like we do, where we just have, you know, it's catered specifically to people that are looking at our Pinterest profile. But those are just some other like small little things you can do with Pinterest, but we recommend that you dive into those analytics and you start scheduling those pins out. And that was Pinterest with Metrical. Make sure that you check out the description box for a coupon code as well as timestamps if you need to refer back to anything. Don't forget to check out our previous videos and our tutorial and I will see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>